so far? Um, I'm walking. Well, you keep walking towards me and I can't get you. Because I'm trying to kill Okay, well, show me your hands. I'm dirty. I know, show I us. Brakes on. Show oh, us. There you go. Come on, be, behave yourself. Why? All right, show your hands on camera. They already did. Put your hands up. Kevin's been working on Megan's car. Say good morning to the neighborhood. Good morning to the neighborhood. Will you be nice? No. Why? Because I'm busy. It, so, because you're busy, you can't take a second to be nice to your neighborhood. <laughs> Let me finish what I'm doing. Say good morning nicely. Good morning nicely. <laughs> you're a butthead. So, I finally got back into the garage. Uh, got everybody settled down. And uh, I already put on one set of brakes. I gotta do the other side. Just doing the fronts. The back, the rear seemed to be fine, which is usually the case. Megan drives a little too heavy-footed. What, what can I say? Um, so these are what the brakes look like that I just took off compared to the new ones. <clears throat> so I just need the jacket up on this side. Looks like the tires need a little air And uh, this should take me maybe another 30 minutes and I will be done and then I can start on the floor All right, so here it is It looks pretty good. It hasn't had any damage to the uh, disc at all um, Got all my safety things set up. I've got a two-ton jack underneath here usually throw the tire underneath the edge too just in case uh, I just got to pop this off now I'm going to need a seat clamp to do that so I have to, since I have to compress the caliper in order to get the old ones off and compress it quite a bit to get the new ones on it has to compress about an inch and a half to get the new ones on compared to what it is all right so I got the new brake shoes on And I just got to put the wheel back on and check it out. All right, so that's done. I need to give the brake a little bit of a pump, drive it around, see how it feels. <sighs> I'm tired. Uh, I need to scrape some old glue off of the floor and some other stuff that's just stuck to there. It's probably concrete. So, uh, and I've tried a lot of different things, and uh, I got these jig scrapers, so I decided I, I needed a pneumatic scraper. And I looked around, uh, I could find one for like $40 on uh, Amazon, and I'd, I could get one at Harbor Freight for $16, which I love. However, the problem with Harbor Freight stuff is they might not work. <laughs> They don't always work, and if they do work, they won't work for long, but I don't need it to work for a, a long time. If I was a professional, I would not be buying tools from Harbor Freight, but since I'm just an amateur and a lot of the jobs that I do, I'll only do once in my lifetime, um, or once in a couple of, couple of times in a lifetime. So, I just, I get the cheapest I can get. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. play with the regulator. There we go. Tell us what you're doing. Well, Great. I'm taking up uh, some of this old white glue. It's uh, almost concrete-like, so I finally got myself a, a pneumatic chisel scraper 
which I just put together. And uh, see how I'm going to get to this stuff up. a clean sink to get dirty. Look at those pretty, pretty hands. And when Kevin gets dirty, dirty, he use Gojo? Is that how you say it? Gojo? I guess. He uses Gojo! And he looks like he's washes, washing his hands in oil. Well, it kind of is, I think. What are you smelling them? Hey. Papa! What are you guys doing? I already fed you two. This is this is for people. What I'm making now. And Flackles, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are putting up with these big guys all around. Uh, and now you're going to choke. Pepper, leave him alone. He's coughing. So Sarah made us a nice, healthy brunch. We got eggs, we got mushrooms, we got onions, we got black beans, and we got spinach. Nice, healthy lunch. Brunch, whatever. There's not a candle that can hold they're smart too. They find a way to get get through that stuff. So Boomer has decided if she lay if he lays a pie like this, Pepper and Kane cannot bother him. And Megan is just in all her glory. With two big what dogs the in the house. What the puppies? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> She's trying to pull Kane back at her. <laughs> Kane is not easy to pull. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he ate what, happened? what happened? What happened? What happened? Uh, that's my foot you're standing on, Kane. Thank you. <laughs> so, one of our subscribers, Trans Am Girly, sent us a little video. Let's see what it is. Um, and the neighbors, uh, she was talking about weather. Okay. Complain about having hot temperatures. Okay. This morning I woke up and saw uh, like a, like a quick short video on this. Temperature. You want it cold? Layers? Yeah, yeah there you go. Layers. Have some layers. Because uh, I don't want it. I'd rather have California weather. Hello, everybody. So I am off to my second gastric bypass class, uh, week number two. We will see how it all goes. Kevin's dropping me off, and we'll have to come back an hour and a half later to pick me up. Woo! Sarah and Ian and Kaya are at the house and uh, Kaya's going to hang out till I get back so I can visit with her for a little bit when I get back. Hello everybody, it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. Sorry about last night guys, I hope you all enjoyed our uh, 250 mile an hour ride up to Big Bear. Oh. <laughs> Hope we didn't make too many of you sick. <laughs> um, not a lot of shout outs to do tonight. We just have two really. Katie Caroline wants to get to 350 subs by May. So all of you guys go over to her channel, Katie Caroline. 
hit that little red subscribe button and show her some love. And Libby Doll Series, a new channel just starting up. Make sure you guys go over, check it out, give it a thumbs up, hit that little red subscribe button, and show her some love. It is a great channel. Okay, and my question yesterday was, what do you think was the greatest invention? And we had people saying electricity, um, telephone, cameras, which I think was a fantastic invention to capture memories. You know, memories are something you want to save forever. But um, Crimson Fairy had my top favorite, which was the flushing toilet. By all means, I don't know what I would do without a flushing toilet. <laughs> Take a hole in the backyard. That's right. There'd be lots of holes back there. <laughs> what What is your favorite? Or what do you think is the I best? Guess, I I guess someone said electricity, but uh, uh, but it was pointed out that electricity is not an invention; it was discovered. And so uh, I would say AC generator by Nikola Tesla that runs all this other stuff that everybody said was a good invention. Except, of course, for flushing toilets. I would have to say, and I don't even know if it's an invention, but I would say penicillin. Penicillin. Because that is like the, the basis of most medications. And believe me, I need to be highly medicated for his safety. <laughs> so that's all I have for tonight, except my new question. And it's a two-parter. Part one. Part one. When was the last time you did a random act of kindness for someone? Part two. When was the last time someone did a random act of kindness for you? We're not talking about the Honda dealership. <laughs> I forgot about those commercials. <laughs> That's true. So, he was so jumpy. I stopped hitting him a long time ago. I see it too. Really? You are very jumpy, Kevin. I We're have, filming in front of a live audience tonight, guys. And I'm doing piracy. Yes, and we're being filmed while we're filming. So, All right. <laughs> it's time. Don't hit that shoulder. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so my question from two nights ago. You said it was last night, but it was two nights ago. Yes was um, where was the movie The Haunting, the 1999 version, filmed? And again, I, I like my tricky questions because it had several locations. Um, the out exteriors were filmed at Harlexton Manor. Uh, the billiard room was also filmed as uh, the interior there. Uh, the kitchen scene was filmed in the Belvoir Castle. Um, most of the corridors that you see in the movie, all the curved corridors, was um, a set built inside the uh, the domed hangar uh, that they housed the spruce goose in next to the Queen Mary. That's why they're all curved because they have to follow the circular um, shape of the the, uh, the building. Uh, also filmed and in that was in Long Beach. Yes, dear Long Beach. And uh, also filmed in studios in Orlando, Florida, Manhattan Beach, and Tustin. So they had to run all over the place to film this film. And the other right was Terry Johnson, John Harrison, Tanya uh, Longley, Bambi S, and Greg Myers. What is this? That was how many hours ago? Oh, okay. 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 I'm okay. Okay. Tonight's tonight's question is it might be a little tough. Um, there there's three movies uh, or two movies in a television series. Um, 28 Days Later, uh, The Walking Dead, and Resident Evil all have uh, movies or uh, TV shows that started with someone waking up in a hospital. So, who came up with it first, or where did they get the idea from? Somebody surviving whatever apocalypse it was, 
by being asleep. Very interesting. Didn't The Walking Dead start that way too? Didn't I say The Walking Dead? No, you didn't. Did he say Studio the Walking audience? Dead? Studio audience? Okay. Yeah, he did. The studio audience is saying, yes, he did. I'll go back to this one <laughs> Okay. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. Stuff. <laughs> love you. We'll catch you all tomorrow.